welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something that I have not really done before and it is favorite pen of the month, least favorite pen of the month. Now in my journaling situation or my writing situation I always have a favorite pen that I like to use a lot and I also always have a pen that I neglect. Um, I don't do this on purpose but it's just what I gravitate towards in that particular month. Uh, one, I'm wondering if you guys do that too. And two, I really want to share with you what those pens are. And they're kind of like two classics um, this week or this month, I mean. Anyway, let's switch a shot and go look at these pens. All right, the two pens are a Lamy 2000 and the Pilot 823, Pilot Custom 823. And the favorite is the Lamy 2000. Now, I have talked about the Lamy 2000 plenty before. It was one of my favorite pens for a long time. It was one of my first gold nib pens and it remains a favorite. Uh, and then the A23 I have talked about also before but it was first it was not my favorite then I started to like it a lot and now um, I am not super into it. Now it's not because of the pen size which was the problem for me before. Um, it's mainly the nib and the way uh, my handwriting looks with it right now. So this is my palette custom 83 but when i was cleaning it um the nib came out and i was like oh i'm gonna put the fa nib in um which was from james's pen now the fa nib is lovely and soft but i am not good at writing with it and when i'm writing with it i don't like the way my handwriting looks now it is a lovely nib and it's doing what it's supposed to do but it's just not for me so my favorite and least favorite are basically based on how it makes my writing look. And with this A23, I'm just not enjoying the way my writing looks. Now, of course, I'm going to do writing samples. Um, I do love the ink that's in here, but it's just not, it's just not working out for me right now. Um, the A23 is a large pen. Um, it is not a very cheap pen. It's quite expensive, but I think it's Pilot's best pen. Perhaps it is James's favorite pen, and I do appreciate what it is. Um, but this nib, I don't know how to write with it. It's an FA nib, um, and there is like softness to it, right? James writes in beautiful cursive and has beautiful penmanship with this. I, however, I'm kind of a straight up writer. I don't slant my writing and I think this pen works better with slanted writing. So if you are more like that, it would be better in my opinion. Um, of course, now there's not a lot of writing on this page, but when I see a full page of writing with this pen, I don't enjoy it. Um, and I do feel uh, that journaling, I know it's about the content, but it's also about the aesthetics of it. Um, and I just don't love it. Um, what I have noticed also is that this month I've been really into broader nibs, so fatter nibs. And because in my writing I don't tend to push this pen too much to get those wider lines out, um, it looks fairly fine. Um, and that is just not what I like right now. Fairly fine. It's still a great pen. Um, I do appreciate it for what it is, but right now, not my jam. Um, I'm gonna hand this over to James probably because it is filled with ink and this is an ink I don't wanna toss. Let me actually tell you what this is. Um, it looks fairly dark, but it is Lamy Dark Lilac. And let me, poop. there we have it. It is purple. Yeah. Lovely ink, generally lovely pen, but right now, it's just not for me. Uh, anyway, let me close this up a little bit, because um, it does need to be open. Yeah, handing it off to James. Now, here is my Lamy 2000, and it is the vintage one, which is basically my favorite one. I love that L, and I love that uh, West Germany situation on here. It's gonna be really hard to show you, but on the cap, it says W Germany. Um, this, this is a pre fall of the wall Lamy. Now, of course, we have that hooded nib, um, and it is a lovely one. This is a medium one, medium nib, 
and it is my favorite, I think. So writing with this is a different feel for me. I generally post this pen. I don't always do that, but sometimes I do. Let me 2000 and I'll do a comparison of the writing in a second. So let me 2000 medium nib, medium nib. And it just feels so good. It's so easy to write with. And it just makes me really happy the way it looks. It might also be the ink, but I love dark lilac, so I don't think that's fully it. I'm just really enjoying the way this makes my handwriting look. And it makes me happy. And I think that's important when you're writing and when you're in the fountain pen community to have something that makes you happy. Um, and when you are just discovering fountain pens, it's hard to find what you what you like, but I would say just find people, like-minded people, and try out all their pens, basically. But yeah, really like this. Um, I believe this ink is DC Super Show Blue by Private Reserve. And I'll, oh, I'm getting a drop. It's dropping. It's uh, almost empty. So it's burping a little bit. I don't know if I can show you the little, the little blob of ink on there. Um, I'm going to tap it on here. Um, it was in a cold area for a little bit and then my hands are warming it up. So it's burping right now because the air is expanding. Um, I think I'm just going to re-ink this with the same ink because it is a lovely blue. Uh, Private Reserve has been iffy in the past, but I think they've redeemed themselves. So that's the writing with this. And I'll write the same thing with this pen underneath it. So I feel like I have more control with the Lamy 2000. Maybe it, it's about that. More control in the broader nib. Broader nibs are more forgiving when it comes to handwriting. Um, but yeah, that is least favorite and favorite pen of the month, January. Um, I hope you guys find this semi-interesting. Uh, I might do this again next month. I really enjoyed talking about these two pens that I have reviewed, but never really gotten back to. Um, and I think it's good to reassess what you think of the pen. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please let me know what your favorite pen right now is, uh, because I'm curious. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.